What CC do you start a combo with? Is exactly how I started my laws guide, but this time I'm gonna skip the formalities and list them here. Grab and random stiffen catches such as shield charge, balance strike and solar flare are your best bet to land the first CC. Some other possibilities are overrun and ground smash chopping kick. This time around I will also only cover high DPS combos. If you are looking for style combo alternatives, my old video is pretty good for that. Before getting into the combos themselves, there is some foreplay that we need to do so let's get into it. How do CCs work? Now if you're extremely new to the game and you don't know about these topics, I have a CC mechanics guide video that I made a few years back. Having a separate guide saves me a lot of trouble and editing so go watch that one before this one. Resistances Now resistances are fucking annoying and they occur very often. Please for the love of god run Alcar crystals in your main hand and ignore KD in your newer. It will save you a lot of brain aids in the long run. How to output damage effectively After reworks, Warrior became pretty one dimensional when it comes to dealing damage. So very high DPS combos are basically the same thing just shuffled around a bit. In every one of your combos you want to apply armor break in the beginning or middle somewhere. This applies a strong minus DP debuff and also deals decent damage. Our other tools are gonna be Gravedig and Sashing the Dead, which are just pure damage output skills. Gravedig also applies a heavy slow, so applying at the end of the combo means your opponent won't be able to use their kit to its fullest. These two skills are also completely interchangeable in a combo. Whenever I use Gravedig at the beginning of the combo, you could just use Sashing if you have Gravedig on cooldown, and then at the end you use Gravedig instead of Sashing. This approach also helps a lot in case you are running the Gravedig core which is disgustingly strong with ignore KD crystals. Since Gravedig core applies a CC you must use it when the CC counter is over 2.0 already, hence using it at the end. Overwhelm is also gonna be used a lot as an easy float and a down attack damage buff. You are going to be Q cancelling it into reckless blue every time. If you don't know what Q cancelling is, it basically allows us to cancel the unnecessary part of a skill and quick cast the skill after it. But not every skill can be Q cancelled. Put Overwhelm on a quick slot, I have it on free, and practice the following inputs until you have the cancel down. This combination is a very good way to get the cancel down, since Q cancelling is gonna be one of the biggest things when it comes to Warrior. If you are still confused about Q cancelling, I recommend my older guides. They explain it in much more detail. After Reckless Blow comes the bread and butter of Reworked Warrior. Ankle Break into 10%. This is our main way of dealing damage in combos and every combo should have it somewhere, if you wanna prioritize damage that is. If you are talking anti-evasion combos, Solar Flare and Healed Strike are a must but more on them later in the basic warrior combo. Last but not least is Heaven's Cleave, which we will use in conjunction with Overwhelm in case the resist happens. It could also be good filler damage at the end of combos. So every time I'm going to show you a combo, I will show it to you at full speed, then once again at half speed, and then break down the inputs and skills used to understand what is actually happening. On the left side of the screen you will be able to see my inputs and below them the skill icons. Some skills are going to be used from my quick slots, in which case I will call it out so it doesn't confuse you. The combos I show you here are also not the end all be all of combos. Feel free to experiment with what you learn here. I hope you learned something. First things first, I will play the Evasion Shredder version of the basic warrior combo a few times so you can process what you're looking at.
We start off with a grab. Very original, I know. The next part is completely optional, but I like to do it to not mess up my C swaps. I do a forward slash WLMB into C swap. After C swap, we do Grave Dig to do filler damage. At the end of Grave Dig, do a quick armor break with space to apply a stiffen and not let the opponent get up from the combo. After this point, we will do a quick sequence of inputs with Solar Flare into Balance Strike into Hit Strike into Heaven's Grave. This may sound complicated, but practice this part on just a dummy and you will have it down in no time. During this sequence, we have applied two major skills to help kill evasion targets with a minus 6% evasion debuff and a plus 6% accuracy buff. At the end of the sequence, we have also applied a float with Heaven's Cleave, so our job after this point is to deal damage and hope for a down smash later on. I use Overwhelm from my quick slots with 3 and Q cancel it into Reckless Blow and Curl and 10% from what I've talked about earlier. There is still a little bit of time left in the combo so do a slashing the dead. Now there is an issue that I chose to ignore until now and that is that you need to have both Heat Strike and Heaven's Cleave unlocked. I personally suck at this game and I cannot play with them unlocked so I will show you a version of it for the other homies out there who have no hands. That is also a lot easier to do, uh, but way worse against evasion targets unfortunately. In the simpler Tylon this friendly version, after Grave Dig I do Armor Break, Balance Strike, Q Cancel it, and use Heaven's Cleave from the hot bar. And everything else is the same afterwards. This is my go-to combo if I land a grab. In the earlier version with slow hands you might also apply another stiffen CC making it a harder combo to pull off overall. So this version is definitely recommended. Spin counter. I can tell you already whatever this is is not a tile on this friendly version. Vak was the one that showed this to me and it deals an ungodly amount of damage. Vak also got it from quiz so god bless his soul as well. Handshake. This is the highest DPS combo I have ever seen against DR targets, but it's also a bit hard to pull off in the beginning. A bit easier version is on the screen right now. Starts out similar to the other combos, but after Balance Strike you C swap it into a spin counter. The timing for this is very tight, so practice it before trying the combo out. If you do a counter where you kind of slash forward and not sideways, then you did it wrong, so keep practicing to do just spin counter. You then swap back and unleash the beast, basically. I don't think there is much else to say here that I haven't talked about already. This whole combo could also be used for CC reset combos, but that's far outside my pay grade. Hello lads, this is me post-editing. I forgot to say that the spin counter combo only works if you have ignore KD crystals in your offhand. So do get them if you want to use this combo. Even in general they are very good crystals so I run them personally. There is also another version of the spin counter combo that I call max dps version. It has an armor break and an extra heaven's cleave in it. But it requires a down smash from ankle break and it's quite int. Like, if you don't get the down smash, you will probably get CC'd. I still felt like including it, because I, I thought it was a really cool combo. Stefan catches. These are going to be very common catches, and the combo that I will show you is a lot simpler than the ones before. It might also be enough to kill lower DR targets. So after getting a catch, I quickly try to cast Overwhelm into Armor Break. I do this in order to land a quick float and get the minus dp debuff from armor break and then start charging reckless blow. After completely charging reckless blow use slashing the dead and do the usual ankle 10% into grave dig. Very simple, quick and easy, does alright damage overall. Hello lads, this is me post editing. I forgot to say that you need to cancel the middle of grave dig if you don't get a down smash at the end of the combo. If you do get a down smash, you can just let Grave Dig end and then disengage after if the opponent is still alive somehow. Reset combos. I got Elucha Dor to send me a reset combo to 
help explain this part of the guide, so thank you Liquidator. What is a reset combo even? I will try to explain it in a very simple manner. So whenever you reach the CC limit on a target, they become immune to CC for 5 seconds. Now the question is, what if we could CC the opponent for those 5 seconds? Then we could theoretically start another combo from the beginning, and this is exactly the purpose of the reset combos. In order to achieve this, we use KD as our last CC, and pair it with well time down smashes at the end of the combo. Learning reset combos shouldn't really be your main focus, especially when starting out, because they are more of a class mastery thing. I felt like including them here though, if this piqued your interest, uh, do try it out and practice it. Having stuff like extra down smash chance on ankle break also helps with the consistency of these combos, because they are very RNG heavy. These types of combos also make killing carpets just a little bit easier, so that's pretty good. Another post edit segment. I forgot to say that even the spin counter combo could be used as a reset combo. Because the last CC that we used was spin counter, which is a KD, and then after we only need good down smashes at the end. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to Vec, he's been helping me out a ton. Also, thank you to Kirito from SAO. Sorry about the audio problems, I legit couldn't get my mic to work properly. I have two other videos coming up, I'm not sure when, but one of them is gonna be a meta like analysis kinda, just to look at what people are building at hardcap gear currently in the current meta. Another one is gonna be like a gear showcase, so uh, I watch this guy called Watchman, he does like cabal guides and every year he has a gear showcase video and I always look forward to watching it like what he's been up to and I thought it would be kind of cool to like look back for myself what I've done in the last year or so